What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mark with Mark's Kitchen, here with another episode. Dear Mark, I don't have a stand mixer, so what do I do, man? You can do this all by hand. It's real not right there, all right? Go put on your Uggs, get your scarf on, dude. Here's what you need to get started making. Your apple cider cookies. This is a super healthy recipe, trust me. You're gonna start out with an ungodly amount of butter and make sure to brown that a little bit farther than you normally would. This is how it should look, dude. Then let your apple cider reduce down to about a quarter of a cup. It'll take about 10 minutes. In a mixing bowl, we're gonna add flour, baking powder, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mix that all around. And in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine brown sugar, fine granny sugar and an egg crack it with one hand for the flex applesauce vanilla extract and your reduced apple cider and butter mix that all together combine the wet and dry ingredients do not over mix this because we do not want to develop gluten with the flour scoop these out on a cookie tray and bake at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes and while those are cooking we're gonna make cinnamon sugar aka equal parts parts cinnamon and equal parts sugar you did it dude and to make the icing you're gonna need powdered sugar and combine that with your leftover apple cider a little bit more cinnamon and you got yourself some icing and take those cookies out of the oven put them on a cooling rack then we're gonna take some leftover butter brush it on with a pastry brush just like so and dunk them in your cinnamon sugar and then we are going to drizzle some of that beautiful icing right on on top of these and just look at this perfection my lanta dude first bite dude oh my gosh i think my favorite part about these cookies are the slight spice they have from the nutmeg it's real not around there thanks for tuning in to another episode of mark's kitchen and you already know what they say if you can do it in mark's kitchen you can do it in your kitchen peace